Awesome. Now that you are successful with this chart and checked your answers, let's turn the page and we're going to get started on number five, six, and seven. You're going to work on number five, six, and seven with your group. Read the question completely and I will give you two minutes to finish. Well, I'll give you three. Please pause the video for three minutes, number five, six, and seven, and we'll see how you do. Okay, so here are your answers for five, six, and seven. Here are your answers for five, six, and seven, and you can tell that five, five point zero, you don't necessarily need the point zero if you just had five times 10 to the 11th, that's fine. Six, because this is a small number, 9.9 .9 times 10 to the negative fifth. And why is this value not in scientific notation? The significant figure, please make sure you're using the vocab, the significant figure, 27 and 5 tenths, is too large, greater than 10. If I wanted to rewrite this in scientific notation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 27.5 and write just that value in scientific notation, 2.75 times 10 to the first. I need to make it bigger to go back to what its value is. Bring down the 10 to the negative 3 and then combine these powers of 10 using my exponent properties. When I'm multiplying with the same base, I add my exponents to get my final answer, 2.75 times 10 to the negative second. Let's look at the next set of directions. Examine the numbers below. If the number is written in scientific notation, circle it. If it's not, rewrite it in scientific notation. Let's look at A. This value is not written in scientific notation because my significant figure, that's right, it is too large. So I'm going to focus on just 348 and I'm going to bring down my times 10 to the 8th. When I'm looking at 348, to write that number in scientific notation is 3.48 times, I have to go two decimal places to the right to get back to that number, 10 to the second. Now I need to simplify my powers of 10. So my final answer is 3.48 times, what do I do with my exponents if I'm multiplying with the same base? two factors of 10 and eight factors of 10 get me a total of 10 factors of 10. So there's my final answer written in scientific notation. Let's look at F or let's look at B since it's right next to it. Looking at B, is this written in scientific notation? No, the significant figure is too small. The significant figure is less than one. So I'm gonna focus on just this value, I'm going to bring down my 10 to the ninth power. Bringing down my 10 to the ninth power. Looking at this, if I want to rewrite this decimal in scientific notation, this is going to be 4.026 times. To go back to this number, I need to move this decimal point to the left. So I know I'm going to be multiplying by a negative number because the original value was smaller than four. So I'm gonna move one, two, three decimal places to the left to get back to my original number. That means this is 10 to the negative third. Just that decimal is equal to this in scientific notation and then we still need to multiply by 10 to the ninth power. So again, when we're multiplying with the same base, our base is 10, we add our exponents. Negative three plus nine. What's negative three plus nine? Oh yeah, six. I'd like you to finish C, D, E, F, and number nine with your groups. C, D, E, F, and number nine in your groups. I'm gonna give you seven minutes seven minutes. Please pause the video for seven minutes and then we'll check on our answers. Please pause the video for seven minutes. Okay, let's check and see how we did. Taking a look, C and E were written in scientific notation because the significant figures were greater than or equal to one, but still less than 10. 
taking a look at D, our final answer is 4.55 times 10 to the negative 5, and F, 7.42 times 10 to the negative 6. When we were looking at 9, who was correct? Did you say Jennifer? Because Jennifer's correct. When you're looking at values in scientific notation, the larger the order of magnitude, which is your power of 10, the larger the value of the number. Since negative 2 is greater than negative 5, 6 times 10 to the negative 5th has more decimal places, making that a smaller number than 3 times 10 to the negative 2. This is 3 hundredths. This is six, let's see, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, six hundred thousandths. Awesome. Let's go to the last page. Looking at the last page of our lesson, it says to classify the following numbers below in the table. Many will appear more than once. So we have different boxes that these numbers are going to go into. A positive number means the significant value had to start being positive. So these are all going to have positive significant figures. A negative number means that the significant figure will start being negative. Then we have to think about their order of magnitude if they're greater than 1. Between 0 and 1, these will only be positive numbers. Negative numbers between 0 and negative 1, numbers less than negative 1. So numbers going in these two boxes will come from the negative numbers, and numbers in these two boxes will go from the positive numbers. The last box where we order from greatest to least will start with numbers greater than 1 and then pick numbers from each box as we go down. I want to give you 8 minutes to work on this with your groups. 8 minutes to work on this with your groups. If you finish early, please turn the page to work on your extension, find the number. What you're doing here is you're writing down from the word notation in standard notation, which remember is the decimal expansion, and in scientific notation. You may want to remind yourself about the different decimal place names. So please pause the video for eight minutes, and then we'll go over our work. Pause the video for eight minutes, please. Okay, let's take a look at how we classified our numbers. These are the answers in order from greatest to least. Notice between zero and one, these numbers have negative exponents, but my significant figures were positive meaning they're decimals that are positive between 0 and 1. Here, we have our negative significant figures, and as the numbers are getting smaller or more negative, we have bigger values of our order of magnitude. Awesome. Make sure you're checking your work. Now I'd like to give you 20 minutes to work and finish your extension. As you finish, as you finish your extension, which is the next page, page 31, as you finish your extension, you can be working on homework. So you're finishing your extension with your groups, and we're going to go and show the answers in 20 minutes. So please pause the video. I have copies of your homework. Pause the video for 20 minutes and we'll look at the answers in a second. Okay, so here are the answers. Here are the answers to your extension. I've also posted these on my website. Here are the answers to the extension. Please make sure to fix your answers. Don't forget your units and work quietly on your homework. Have a great day, do your very best, and be nice to everyone, and I will see you when I return. Thank you.